What's going on everybody? Browse here, bringing you back to the tutorial world. Today, we are going to be building a semi-auto tree farm. This tree farm is pretty early game tree farm. You have to manually cut everything down, but it's one of those you just click it and harvest it as fast as you can. This one only currently works from my trials with oak saplings. So let's go ahead and show y'all how this works. So we come in here, we go ahead and click this lever. I've got a little clock underneath here. It starts activating and then basically I plant my sapling on this dirt. It bone mills it for you and then you come in here and just harvest the tree and you can keep going. This will give you some saplings back as you can see and there we go. So let's cut that down and show you what you need to build this. Okay, so for this build, there's gonna be a large number of stuff in here. However, some of this stuff is optional. I'll go ahead and show you the optional ones first. The steps, these are all optional. You do not have to have these unless you want it to look, I mean, okay, that's not a very good looking build, but okay looking. Next, the slabs right here, these are also optional. If you do not use the steps, you don't have to have the slabs unless you want to spawn proof the top. We will need for this build some temporary blocks that way if we fall and to help us with some placements in there. So grab some temporary blocks. We'll need one observer, one dispenser, one hopper, one chest, two stacks of building materials, 20 glass, seven redstone dust, one lever, four comparators, two repeaters, one redstone torch. Probably get you some lighting going on in there and you'll need a lot of bone mill. You also can't forget your trusty axe. Anyway, so like I was saying before, from my testing, these did not work. There might be a way to get them to work, but I was getting really irritated with it. <laughs> so let's get over here and get it built. All right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna use these torches to kind of help with uh, showing you the front and the back side. So this torch represents the front of the build and then this one will represent the back. That way we can all follow along and have no mess ups. All right, starting right in front of this torch, this is gonna be the front of our build and this is gonna be the entry. So from this entry, we're gonna use this torch as a placement. We're gonna go over one, two, and then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side, one, two. What we're doing here is just leaving this open, okay? I'm gonna move this torch back here a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and remove that. Now, once we have these blocks placed down like so, we're gonna to go to the left side and we're gonna go ahead and skip this first one and we're gonna place a block on the second one. Jump over here onto this one. We're gonna go ahead and skip this block and place another block right here. So if you're looking at it, I'll try to put something up on the screen. It should be a five by five. All right, next, we're gonna go ahead and grab our redstone and we'll go ahead and grab our comparator and our repeater. Okay, so not including the doorway right here, but the next block right here, we're gonna go ahead and place redstone and you're gonna go redstone. Off this redstone, you're gonna face to the right. So if we're looking at the front, we're gonna face to the right and we're going to go ahead and take our comparator and that redstone dust should run directly into that comparator. Now. Off the back side of this comparator, technically it's the side of it, but going towards the back, we're going to go ahead and place one redstone dust, pretty much going in a straight line right now. Okay, so off this redstone dust, we're going to go to the right, one, and 
2. Now, directly in front of this comparator right here, you want to go ahead and place one of your building materials, just like that, okay? Now, looking to the left side of the build, you're going to go ahead and grab one of your repeaters, and you want that repeater to look into the redstone. So you see how there's like an arrow right here? You want it to look into the redstone. Now, going the same direction as this repeater, you want to go ahead and grab a comparator and face it into this block right here. See how it has an arrow with that little dot right there? Next, you want to go towards your comparator, look back the opposite direction, and right beside where you just placed this comparator, you're going to face another one into this bit of redstone right here. To kind of give you a view, this is what it looks like. All right, so now off of this comparator right here in this open little spot, we're going to take our redstone dust and place it right here. Next, we're going to go ahead and grab our redstone torch. Here's where we place the redstone dust. We're going to look at this block and then we're going to place in this open area a redstone torch directly onto the side of the block, just like that. Here's the front of it. Here's that redstone dust, and it's on the side. Now, the redstone is almost finished. We have to come over here, and we're gonna go ahead and click, right click, this little button on the very back comparator, just like that. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and place our last repeater and we wanna face it into this comparator that we just turned on, just like this. If you did everything right, you should have a flickering light in the very back. All right, now on the right side of the build, we're looking towards the back. We're gonna go ahead and take our building material all the way back. Now this redstone right here, I just put it longer to kind of be able to see it further up. You do not need the very end piece. That's pretty much just like a temporary one. However, you will need these two. But anyways, bring your building blocks all the way down to where they stop directly in front of this flickering redstone. On the blocks that we just placed, come back here to your very back repeater on this side and go ahead and place one redstone dust right in behind it, just like that. I'm gonna give y'all an overview, and that's what it looks like right now. Next, we're gonna go ahead and grab our observer. We're gonna go back to this flickering light back here. We're gonna go ahead and look directly at it, grab our observer, and go ahead and right click. If you did it right, your observer should have an arrow up, if you can kind of see it right here. Also, if you're in creative like I am right now, or you can use your temporary blocks to build up to it but if you look at the top it's flickering and it's very annoying when you have the sound up all right next you're going to go ahead and grab one piece of dirt now this piece of dirt is going to go in the middle piece of redstone right here if you go ahead and right click it'll go ahead and place it directly above it just like that that right there is where your sapling is going to be planted Next, you're going to go ahead and take your building blocks and we're at the front again. Go ahead and take one building block to the right side of the dirt. We're going to go ahead and place one to the left right here. We're going to go ahead and place one more connecting onto the back side. And then you're going to go ahead and place one directly above this comparator that has the flickering light. Now, if you can't get a good angle, you can go ahead and shift and right click and you can place the block perfectly. Now, that's what it should look like. Okay, so after you have everything looking as I just showed, you're going to go ahead and go back onto the top. See, here's the front and the back. So we're going to go onto the top. So looking at the back, the left side over here, we're going to go ahead and place our dispenser. Make sure it's a dispenser and not a dropper. You're going to go ahead and place it where the mouth is facing the dirt right here. All right. 
Then you're going to come up here, turn directly around, take your comparator, and go ahead and place it just like this. Now it should be facing that way. Next, on this block, towards the back, directly in front of your observer, you're going to go ahead and place a piece of redstone dust right here. Then we're going to go ahead and place a building block right here. Okay, so once you place your building block right here, go ahead and take one more building block and put it directly on top of the observer right here. Once you do this, you're going to get a very irritating click and you're about to see. The click is from the dispenser right here. If everything's working properly, there you go. So if you don't want that, we're going to come over here and this is where our lever is going to go. Here's the comparator. We're going to go ahead and place the lever on the block. It has the comparator on it and we're going to go ahead and click the lever. And perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and grab our hopper and our chest. We're going to go ahead and shift click to the left side of the hopper. And then we're going to go ahead and shift click our chest onto the hopper. There we go. So that right there is pretty much the tree farm. But we don't want it to grow the oversized oak trees. So let's go ahead and put all of the redstone up and go ahead and grab our building blocks. All right, once you have your building blocks, we're going to go ahead and go to each corner and we're going to go up a total, including the corner block right here. We're going to go up eight total blocks. So that's one, seven and eight. Now let's go ahead and do that on every corner. And we're going to bring it all the way over. We want to make sure everything is connected just like this and looking good now that we're at the bottom we want to go ahead and figure out if we want to add the steps in or not and i'll show you why i added these steps all along kind of making it look like it was supposed to be there is if you don't you're going to have some redstone that is visible all the way around and we don't want that or at least i do not but you may like it so i'm going to go ahead and show y'all how to do it with the steps off of your front block right here, we're going to come out one more block and then come out one right here. Total, we're going to come up four blocks. So that's one, two, three, and four. Next, we're going to go ahead and add our stair, but it has to be upside down. Now, the reason we have this stair right here is over here, we have, well, had a slab that was over this. You don't have to have the slab, but it makes it easier. So we'll do it without it just to kind of show y'all. If you do want a slab, you just place it on top of there. So once you place your upside down step, you're gonna go ahead and place a normal step right here and then come inside and place one block right here. So the step basically makes it to where it's like a doorway. We're not gonna smack our head too hard, but we can still get in here. Now we wanna go ahead and take our temporary blocks we want to make a way up and then we're going to go ahead and add a step here. You might want another temporary block and you're going to go ahead and take your stairs all the way around. Once you get your step to about right here on either side, here in the middle, we have this piece of redstone right here. We want to make sure that it's covered up. So we're going to go ahead and place a block directly in front of it. And we're going to take that all the way up to right here. All right, so once you have it even with this right here, you want to go to the other side and do the same thing off of the middle block. So we're going to come out here and then take it all the way up. Now you can go ahead and get back onto your stairs and go ahead and we're going to place a step like this and then just bring it all the way around. And here is the last one right there. So that layer is perfect. Now we're going to go ahead and adjust our temporary blocks just a little bit, just like this. And we're going to go ahead and take our building blocks and take it all the way around. 
Make sure that it's right in behind the chest and not on top. And there we go. Now this right here is where all of your windows are going to be setting. So now we want to go ahead and come off the side right here or any side. And we're just going to go ahead and get up here. All right. So we want to do the same thing at the very top like we did down here. And we want to go ahead and bring the stairs and match it to the very end. All right. Now it should look something like that. We are almost done with the upper area. Next, we're going to go ahead and take our steps around one more time. These steps should be a lot easier. Um, I was having some difficulties down there. All right. So here are the steps. You should see one of your blocks showing right here. That's where we're going to go ahead and grab our slab. We're going to place the slab on top of there. And then you should see one on the other side. We're going to place one right here. Next, we're going to go ahead and place a temporary block in one of the corners or anywhere on the inside. And we're going to go ahead and place the slab directly on top of that. Now we can remove that temporary block and then fill in the roof with the slabs. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and take all these temporary blocks off till we get back to where the windows were going. So right here with the windows, you can walk over here around on these steps and work 90% of them from the inside. That's not a piece of glass. Just like this. That way you don't have to jump down in here and potentially get stuck. The back part of this, you don't need glass. However, I'm just putting it there to make it easy, but you can do solid blocks just like so. And then our last two pieces of glass and we are finished at the very top. So let's go ahead and take our temporary blocks down. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the slabs towards the bottom. So here's our entryway. I'm gonna go ahead and skip the first beam and then start on the second beam and then kind of bring this around to meet the other side. Just like that. We got one last thing and then we're finished. So we'll start in the back. We're gonna go ahead and fill in all of this with our normal building blocks. This doesn't stick out too, too much. However, if it does, you can always put a trap door or something over it just to kind of make it blend in a little bit better. We're gonna come over here and we have this block that's on the inside. We're gonna go ahead and fill that in. Should have one over here and I think one or two more on this side over here. Yeah. So look down at the redstone, right click, bring that all the way up. And then directly on top of the torch, you can kind of see the hitbox right there. Go ahead and right click on that and bring that all the way up. Now, whenever I said the torches, we can go ahead and add a few torches on the outside. That way, you know, if you're trying to make everything mob proof, this will definitely help. All right, now to finish everything off. We have one more slab left. We're gonna go ahead and look down here at this redstone. We're gonna place our slab on there. Kind of makes like a staircase. We're gonna go ahead and place a torch in here somewhere to kind of lighten it up so nothing spawns. I don't think they can, except right here, but there we go, perfect. All right, last step, come in here and open up your chest and just go ahead and put as much bone mill in that chest as you can. Once everything's going in, when you flick this lever right here, one, if there is nothing on this piece of dirt, it will not dispense any. It'll make all the clicking noises. It'll try to, but it won't dispense any bone mill. Two, when you flick this lever, it's going to take about three to five seconds for it to activate because it's going to go around that redstone loop and then activate. So 
Don't worry if you flip this lever and it doesn't immediately start, it takes a couple seconds, so watch. And there we go. As you see, it's trying to place out some bone mill, but it's not going down. Next, you come in here, you grab your ax, you grab your oak sapling, right click, and there we go. So we're gonna go ahead and put ourselves into survival and harvest that. It's not a big tree since we made it nine high. We're gonna go ahead and place our oak sapling. And perfect. So we'll harvest that and this build is complete. Now to turn it off so you don't get that annoying click, right click that again and it instantly turns off. So that's gonna do it for this build guys. Hopefully y'all enjoyed it. If you did, leave a thumbs up. And if you're new, consider subscribing. But until next time, I will see y'all later. Ah. Ah. <laughs>